and welcome to No Sevens Dice Club. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, hopefully everybody is having a great summer so far, uh, getting to enjoy whatever uh, vacations and everything else that you guys have planned. Uh, last week or the week before or the week after I was uh, doing the video about Lake Charles, I ran into a uh, another uh, person over there uh, who's uh, visiting pretty much all the different casinos. He's just traveling throughout the United States and his name is Neil. He's from Minnesota and he normally plays in Las Vegas and he has um, a lot of success with his strategy. And after I made him a lot of money, uh, we sat down and we discussed his strategy and uh, a little bit of what I do and everything else as far as my YouTube channel. And he did subscribe. So, uh, so welcome to the, to, uh, to the family. And uh, his strategy works really well. He says he has a lot of uh, success with it. And uh, what he does is he has a bankroll of $2,000, which we have $1,000 right here. So we're going to try it on a $1,000 bankroll. But what he likes to do is get on casinos money as quickly as possible. And he's only risking, he risks a lot of money. So it, it's, a, uh, it's a very aggressive strategy. But once when you hit the six or eight, you're pretty much going to be on casinos money because what he will do is he will put a hundred and two dollars on the six and eight and so you'll have the cap so it'll be a hundred and two dollars and what he's looking to do is he's looking to hit the six or eight one time collect a hundred and nineteen dollars and then what he's going to do is that he's going to tell the dealer bring me down to 110 inside. So right there he has a $9 profit, but he's going to go ahead and he is going to put $15 in the field. So let's just go ahead and say we hit the six. We're going to collect $119, but we're, um, and then he's going to tell the dealer to bring me 110 inside. So you're going to have, you're going to have the, the nine, the five, the six and eight. Right, so that'll be 110 inside, and then what he will do is that he has $15 in the field, and only thing he's in this really for is just a little bit of money, and his major of his money is off in his rack, and now he's just rolling, and what he's trying to do is that if he knows he hits the five, six, or eight, he's going to lose in the field, but he's going to collect $35, but he loses the 15, so he's going he's going to net a $20 profit. Now what he likes to hit is the nine. He has a certain dice set that he likes and he rolls a lot of nines. He will not share me what dice set he uses, but he rolls a lot of nines. And what he likes about the nine is that that's his little bonus area that he likes to hit. So because he's gonna collect $35 plus 15 in the field is $50. And he says that if he can roll about three or four nines in one session, he's perfectly happy. And the only thing he's looking to do with a $2,000 uh, bankroll is to win two or $300, walk away from the casino, and then either come back the next day, take a break, whatever he wants to do. Uh, normally he says he just walks out the casino and then he'll come back the next day or the day after uh, whenever he's, he's at, the, at the casinos. He usually spends about a week or two in Vegas. So he sounds like a pretty big uh, gambler, he likes to really enjoy his time at the casinos. And he says normally this strategy will last him for about three or four months, maybe longer, but on, on average is about three or four months. So I said, you know, let's go ahead and try it. I'll share it with the rest of the community and see how we do. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's see how we do. All right, guys. So we're going to break all this down. We have a thousand dollar bank roll and you know, it's just something a little bit of a different twist. I kind of like it. I roll a lot of nines personally. So when I get on that streak, I'm popping nines like crazy. Two or $300, you know, 10% of 2000 is, is, is $200. So you're right in line with on average of being on the plus side of usually making money with it. So let's go ahead and um, let's go try it. So we're at a $15 table. He says he does not like playing anything more than a $15 table. If it's a $25 table, he'll just get up and walk away out the casino. For him to make money, he wants 15 in the field. Even if he's at a $10 table, he will still put 15 in the field. 
15 is is the line in the sand for him it can always be less but it's still he's still going to play at the 15 dollar range so let's go ahead and put 15 on the pass line roll the dice and here we go all right the six two eight so this works out perfect because you're saying no sevens what happens when we have a point on the five six eight or nine he'll still play it it doesn't change anything for him so he's going to go ahead drop 204 dollars and he's going to tell tell the dealer six and eight with the caps all right the 415 that was off a of camera view but there you go there's the 415 all right the 65 yo and he says this does happen where you can get on a on a rolling and not hit the six or eight all right the 639 man that would have been perfect if we would have had it right fifty dollars all right so right there this is the reason why he plays it so the four four the hard eight so that's the point so we're going to go ahead and collect $15 for the pass line. And we're also going to collect $119. So I'm going to figure out the best way to do this. So just give me one second while I try to figure this out. So we're going to do that's a hundred. And then we're going to drop a dollar for the dealer. And we're going to go ahead and get paid there. So that's going to come here we're going to come here like i said i'm not a dealer so i'm trying to do this as best i can all my dealer buddies who are watching this are laughing at me so as long as i can provide some comic relief for you guys all right so that's going to go in the rack this is going to go back in the rack and what we're going to do is we're going to bring this here so just like that and we're just going to drop five dollars because that's all we're pretty much going to be in the game for is there so we'll put that when we establish a point but as you can see we're already on casino money pretty much the only thing we're in this game for is five dollars so that works out perfect let's go ahead and establish another point so that's the six five one six we're going to drop it in the field and now we're just going to keep rolling keep collecting profits until we either hit two hundred dollars and pull down our bets or we're just going to keep rolling until something happens so let's see all right the four two six man i don't know what took me so long to establish that so we're going to lose in a field so that's going to come off but we are going to collect the 35 dollars and the 15 for the pass line so there we go all right so that's going to go in the rack Put the 15 off to the side for the field later. All right, the 538. Looking great. All right, so here we go. Come on, nine. All right, the 4-4. Four, four. Man, <laughs> Ugh, this is interesting. All right, so we're going to lose in the field, but we're going to get paid on the pass line, so I'll leave that right there. for That's, that's what we want on the pass line. And we're going to go ahead and collect another $35. So here we are. All right, time to establish the point. The 628. All right, 15 in the field. And here we go. The 527. Well, we made a little bit of money, but you know, it wasn't exactly where we want to be. And one thing I want to mention to you guys is that uh, the nice thing about this strategy is that when we're already here and we have the 15 in the field we're going to make twenty dollars five six and eight we're going to make 50 on the nine the four and ten we're going to make 15 the three and the 11 we're going to make 15 and then we're going to get paid double on the two and the 12. so this is quite a pretty nice little strategy it works great and um let's roll it again let's see how we do so you know we're a little bit ahead of the game right now and that's where we like to be like I said, our goal is two or three hundred dollars, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's establish a point. I need fifteen for the pass line. All right, here we go. Three, four, seven. So right back with that fifteen dollars for the player, the shooter. All right, shooter. Five, four, nine. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. So we are going to go ahead and tell the dealer. 204 on the six and eight 
And this is all we're risking. The six, four, ten. All right. Come on, six or eight. Short roll. Six, one, seven on the short. Well, that's when you had that big bank roll to help protect against these losses because that definitely will cut into your loss. All right. So we're going to go ahead and drop 15 for the pass line. And here we go. All right, the five, four, nine. All right, so we're going to tell the dealer again. The six and the eight, the caps. And here we go. All right, the three, three, just like that. The hard six, man, this is exactly what you want on the next roll is to roll that six. Get yourself out of danger zone. You know, something like this, you're asking yourself, no sevens, would you roll it again to get yourself that profit? That's up to you guys. You guys can customize this however you want to. If you feel like you want to try it one more time for me, I want to pull out $204, get that off the, off the board as quickly as possible because that could sink you pretty quickly if, if, if you're not uh, well funded uh, on your bankroll. So we went ahead, we, we won, we're going to drop a dollar and we're going to go ahead and get paid a hundred and twenty dollars because it was a hundred and nineteen but we're dropping a dollar so we're going to go ahead and get paid a hundred and twenty so that's going to go here we're going to tell the dealer five the inside one ten inside so like that right and then we're going to take a five from our rack 15 in the field the dealer is going to scoop this up and here we go now we're really aiming for that nine all right the three four the three four i'm losing my mind three one four all right so we're going to go ahead and get paid 15 15 just like that we got a little bit of a, of a road to climb but hey look if we can get on a good roll we can get ourselves together so the four one five so we're going to lose in the field but we are going to go ahead and collect 35 dollars so let's go ahead and put that in the rack. All right. And we need 15 in the field. The three, three, the hard six. Man, I should be playing the hard ways, huh? Look at this. All right, so we're gonna lose in the field, but we are gonna gain a $20 profit. So that's gonna go here. Put that in the rack, grab one of these, and 15 in the field. And don't forget about your field bet guys don't forget about them because i've done that a couple of times where i was at the casino and i'm rolling and not paying attention i'm so focused on my roll and I, I land on a field number and i don't get paid i'm like wait what happened all right the six four ten all right so another um fifteen dollars so here we go just keep on stacking and racking a four four to hard eight. I told you I should be playing the hard ways. I'm telling you, I can see it. All right. Now if I can just roll the hard ways like this in the casino, that'd be a different story. So we're gonna lose in the field, but we are gonna go ahead and get paid. So that's gonna go here. Take one of these out the rack and voila, 15 back in the field. All right. The six four ten again. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Go here and voila. And that's the thing guys, is that the least amount of money you're gonna make is $15 with this. You know, you, you're doing fairly well. If you know that, look, if you roll 10 field numbers in a row, you're making $150 minimum. Not including, you know, if you hit a five, six, and then it, if you hit that nine, man, you're really knocking it out the park. All right, six, four, 10 again. Whew, man, I need a start laying money on that 10. All right, so there's 15 again. It's, that rack is starting to add up quickly. All right, the five, two, seven. Well, I spoke too soon, but hey, look, we're slowly grinding out a profit. So we're gonna do this one more time and see where we are, because I know we have to start getting somewhat close. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, flip this over. I'll go ahead and set it up, even though it's not on, it's not working. 
take 15 for the pass line. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. The one, two, three. All right. Nothing like losing 15 out the rack. All right. So there's $3 going back for the pass line. The six, three, nine again. We already got set up. So here we go. Now we're working. The four, two, six, just like that, man. This is exactly how you want to play this. So we're going to go ahead and drop a dollar, which we don't have a dollar. So I'll go ahead and take that. We'll go ahead and do this, do that. And five for that. And here we go. So we're going to go ahead and leave that dollar for him. And we are going to go ahead and get paid 120 Try to keep it as simple as possible. So here we are. That's going to go to the dealer. And we're, this is going to go back in our rack. And we're going to tell that dealer. Just He should know by now exactly how you want to play this. Like that. And one five for us. And here we are, man. We're ready to roll. Let's hit that nine. All right. Anything but that, man. Jeez. I mean, seriously. It doesn't have to be that serious, Dice. I mean, come on. That's just, that's just not even being nice to anybody. All right. So here we go again. 15 for the pass line. And we'll go ahead and set this up. We'll try one more time and see how we do. See if we can't get a roll. All right. The four, one, five. All right, the 415. So, point marker is going to go off. We're going to collect 15. Just like that. In the rack. The 538. All right, awesome. Here we go. Now we're working. Now we're not. Ugh, man, dice. Not being nice to us at all. I was going to show you how we're doing fairly well. And everything else but man getting brutal all right 15 for the pass line the five two seven all right anytime you want to stop showing those sevens dice will be nice the four three seven all right we're not even going to talk to you right now we're just going to ignore whatever you have on that thing the five three eight perfect okay so here we go All right. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is where you just run into all sorts of trouble. And I would recommend just walking away from the table uh, from here. But, man, it's, it's turning out to be pretty brutal. So, all right. 15 for the pass line. You never know. We might be... The 12. All right, this isn't even funny anymore. 15 for the pass line. All right. 15 going back in the rack. 15 going back in the rack. If I had some other dice with me at this table at the present moment, I would definitely be switching these out. Because... I'm going to switch my channel from no sevens to rolling nothing but sevens. All right, the three, three, the hard six. So here we go. And if it was me, I would walk away from the table. I'll, I mean, with all these sevens and stuff, man, this is just flat out brutal. So I'm going to give some change to the dealer. And I'm going to tell him our usual. I'm going to give him $105 and he's going to give me one black. One black. And here we go. That's there, that's there, this is here. And here we go. Oh my God. All right, guys. Well, I'm just gonna end it on that note. There's no point in, in beating ourselves up and losing more money because obviously this is not in our favor. So let's go ahead and just count up the 
the money. We started out with $1,000 and we rolled nothing but sevens. So this was a complete disaster. So that's 100. That's 200. That's 25. So we have 10, 20, 30. 40, 50. All right, so that's 100. So that's 300. So with even with all the sevens, we start out with $1,000. We still have 35, 45, $46. So we still have $346. So even after a completely horrible, you know, just disaster of rolling nothing but sevens uh we can see that you know you can still grind this out fairly well should we have stopped a long time ago absolutely but that's just the way the dice roll and unfortunately um hopefully neil doesn't kill me and unsubscribe and say i did the strategy completely wrong but that's just the way it goes sometimes so but thank you for tuning in stay tuned for next week i'm going to show you how to play this on a random shooter